How do you do? I am Gamerson. Welcome back to a bonus episode of A Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, where we go over all of the endings. We'll start in chapter one, though, because in chapter one, most likely you got the good ending, how to get the true ending. When you go to this part where Buck is trying to shoot through the wall, okay, what you want to do. So earlier, you already used the book on Nanny to heal her from the bruises. You're going to want to do it again, though. It says when you go to this one, switch the symbol. Looks like this kind of curled mustache situation. Go to the board, find that find that one, right? It's uh, it's gonna look like that. A little, little cross at the bottom and all that stuff. Face Nanny this time, and then do it again. Take the mask from her. She can't. She's not gonna be able to use it. She's kind of you know bleeding out, dying. And then when you do it, it will save her life. And in doing that. That's how she'll come to life. And now, and then basically you kind of play out the rest her? of the chapter. One second. You'll play out the rest of the chapter the same, essentially, and then accept that she will have survived, which is what you'll need later on. So, that's the first one. That's chapter one. The alternate ending. You follow everything else the same. Get the basically the same ending, essentially, but there's a little bit of differences. I'll let you surprise yourself if you don't want spoilers. Uh, but that's how you get to that point. Now... For chapter two, as you would imagine, same thing. So once you get to this point in chapter two, okay, you survive the labyrinth, which you'll know when you survive the labyrinth. It's a pretty um, house shifting situation. When you get all this part done, you go back out into the hallway. Billy will be hunting you. That's what Billy does. And Billy is really good at it. They'll find you eventually. All you have to do is go down the hallway these marks right here that have been left, you just gotta wait. It's a waiting game. It's a good, like, maybe uh, 10 to 30 seconds for Billy to finally catch up to you. And when they do, you'll end up, you have a dialogue. You just wanna stay put. You just wanna wait. The rain's kinda nice this time of year. If you got a snack, maybe get some snackage, get some eating going. I'll let that part play out, and then this will happen. Again, if you don't want spoilers, I ain't gonna show all that. But then, that will start that interaction. That's how you unlock that one. Let me pull up the map. This will make it easier, okay? This will make it a lot easier. So right near the TV, there will be somebody in this area, okay? That's the grandmother. The keepsake for the grandmother is the uh, picture of the dude eating spaghetti that you got at the very beginning of the chapter. In the kitchen, when you get chased by the one teenage girl, that's the cell phone. And you'll just give it to her. It'll play that out and kind of show you how the mechanic works, okay? In the TV room, though, is a head. There's a lady standing here, if you try and go this way. Uh, if you get that head first... It's like their former bandmate or maybe their former, like, you know, uh, significant other, perhaps. Um, they were singing together. That's how you get that one. There is a person blocking you, though, from getting past the door. To get their keepsake, it's actually down here where the heart is. If you're down at the heart and you look over here, this wallet and ID. That's theirs. That's for the dude at the door. That's person number four. The fifth person is the rock star. The Rockstar, which is blocking your path, so you can't quite go this way. The way you get rid of them is first you go upstairs. Don't come down here yet, though. Go upstairs, go to the bathroom that's the first door, and then go out to the balcony. There'll be a green cassette player. Pick that up, and then take that down here to get that fifth person free. And then there you go. All of them are free. Oh, no! The ending... And so, okay, so here's my ideology, is we don't save everybody. So we just burn. We're going to find this out together. This one's a new one for me, so we'll find out together. Sure enough. Oh, he's facing us this time. He wants this. He wants the smoke so, this time. You decided to kill everybody, huh? Or have you come to throw yourself at my feet? So I'm guessing this is a bad ending for this chapter, and that's how you would unlock that. Now, I haven't experienced this before, so I'm actually going to let this part play out because this is new for me. And then we'll go over chapter 1000 in a second. I promise. Is this the part where you try to appeal to my better nature? You deserve what comes next if it is. Oh, is that so, uh, chesticles? Did you think you'd miraculously be able to save everyone? Sorry to say, Buck already has you all figured out. No. I know that you only have one choice here. Just hand me that book and then go back inside while the house burns down. Do it, or I'll keep my fans here until they burn. Uh, they can burn with me. I'm fine with that. Oh, I ain't the one. He's not even armed. He's really that confident. I unsheath the knife, the one the girl who attacked me with earlier had. Yeah, buddy. This is a different kind of game than the game that you thought it was gonna be. Oh, you got me. 
almost thought you were going to go full yonder A for a second there. But that's just not in your nature, is it? I wordlessly walked towards him. Hey, stop messing around. You're not actually going to use that to... Oh, stab the stabby stabby ending apparently is what we just unlocked. If I remove the object of a session, the rest will flee. That's what Roxanne told me. All of the rot blooms I saw. This is practically self-defense, right? I said you wouldn't hurt a fly. No matter what. Buck was wrong, buddy. Was Buck wrong? Did he lie to me to save himself? Say something! I stepped closer. For once, I'm not playing defensively. Instead of reacting to what they throw at me, I am in control. Wait. away from me now you can't make that choice i just did you're right i can't make that choice the knife falls to the ground on my feet he has the stare even kid is just another victim of the rest i won't do this man i would if we're doing the bad ending anyways then i'm out here to be bad i'm just saying whatever happens to your fans isn't my choice it's yours you're the one keeping them here not me at the end of the day i'm just not responsible for all the pain in the world and you can't force that responsibility on me that said i really do care about what happens to your fans and you and I hope you'll do what's right. <sighs> I leave the house entirely unimpeded, not even by Buck. The faint singing continues for a while until I can't hear singing anymore. This time, I make it as far as the bookstore before. What's that? Well, and that's how we got the other ending. This one has two options from the final dream. Now, for the sake of, I'll just boot it up. Pretty straightforward. The first thing you have to do is go to the front door. It will stop you if you try to deviate. However, you have two options at this point. You can either go outside or you hear a bell jingling. Now, you might be like, what does that mean? All you have to do at this point is go to the basement. That will get you one ending. The other ending is actually simply, and it's not a trick, to just go back outside. Thanks for playing. Absolutely. And thank you for watching. That's how you get all of the endings in Sucker for Love. So, I'm going to end the video. This was the bonus episode about how to get the endings. I've already played through the entire game if you want to watch the endings yourself and you don't have any intention of playing the game, but want to kind of know what it's about, there's a playlist up now. Thank you so much if you tend to check that out. But if not, and this video did help you, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. Sorry, I got to do the YouTuber talk now that we're at the end of the video if you made it this far. But thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you next time. And are you... A sucker for love. Bye bye. What a good game.